Hey everyone, we're up in Sydney still, wherever it this park here, Tawawa. I guess that's how you say it. Uh, it's on uh, Riverside Drive, off of Riverside Drive, about a half mile from the bike shop we were at, uh, the oldest bike shop, Schwinn's shop, uh, around that I know of, 40, uh, 76 years old. So that's pretty darn old. We were just over there visiting and we'd like to come up this park. So I'm gonna try to take you through the park holding holding my cell phone. I gotta come up with something uh, better. So this is a real neat park. Once I get locked in, I'll tell you a little bit about it. So we're drive with one hand. It's not very busy today, so hopefully I can get up here. So anyhow, that's the entrance there. And you come up the road. This park's very beautiful. Um, they got paved uh, walking, bike trails, uh, whatever you want to use it as. People bike on them, people hike on them. Uh, they have this water park over here to our right. See if we can zoom in. It's uh, I'll go up here. Luckily, it's not very busy today. But so that's uh, this is the main entrance. We're just starting. So they have a water slide over there, right there. And they have uh, as we get up in here, they have a uh, some small lakes, big ponds, whatever you want to call it. So this is kind of the entrance down down the road. Here's the official entrance. Uh, we're going, uh, I don't know if you can see that down there, seven miles an hour through here on my electric cat track 700. So just a beautiful day up here in Sydney. We rode up today from Spring Valley, Ohio. Uh, so pardon the camera work here. Now we're, this is the official entrance, entrance to the uh, park. So it's just a real beautiful park. If you ever get to Sydney, I highly recommend it. It's one of the nicer parks uh, I've been to in the state. I'm sure there's others that are better. better. Over here's a little bike trail that goes up to a connector. You can hear a little waterfall or something down there. You can hear it. There it comes. I like these people first. I got it. Here's the uh, little one of the little lakes. There's uh, I think at least two or three of these around. That's uh, where the water is spilling out at. But it's just a beautiful park here. Uh, like I said, it's Friday, a little afternoon, about almost one, August the 19th, 2022. So people fish here. Hike, uh, just all kinds of activities. They got some trails. Uh, they got as probably 50% of them is paved. So I'll pay attention. It's hard to drive with one hand and hold the camera. But just a beautiful little pond or small, big pond, small lake. But in the fall here in the next uh, six to eight weeks, the leaves will be golden and brown red and be reflecting and falling in here a lot of uh, maple trees around uh, and there's uh, left in the world like a little levee or something whatever you want to call it so it's a 
drop off to the there's a creek down to the left right now you can't see much so i'll just show you when it opens up i'll show you some more over here so yeah on the weekend this would be a lot busier with people there's some fisher people fishing there's a trail across on the bridge and another little hiking trail off road still can't see much on the left so i won't show you but there's trails and the park goes on both sides we're kind of in the middle Wood and most of it's uh, wood line. Like so, sorry for the poor camera work. I'm trying to watch people behind me and in front of me and trying to do too many things at once. This is where a uh, GoPro or phone mount. I'll have to look and see what's. Available. I prefer to try to use, just use my phone as much as possible, but at the end of the day, I'd like to make a decent video. So luckily, it's uh, not many people out. over here. Is a shelf and here, I'll jerk it over here. There's a little pond, and this is to the left side where right? there's a park. And uh, numerous shelters. I'm not sure how many they have. I'd say maybe a dozen different shelters where you can uh, have picnics. I'm guessing it's a hundred acre uh, park or thereabouts. So I apologize for the shoddy. We just went down the center of the park. This is the main the main road in and out. There's a little uh, places to park left and right of it. So here's uh, off to the left. It's a parking lot. On my side of the road because Cars coming. Yeah, people are pretty friendly. It's a, I think Sydney seems uh, to be a nice, friendly community. Here's a, another little pond off to the left. This little arched green bridge over there. They just uh, just made it couple years ago so it's new you used to have to walk all the way around the pond now you can comes up the car you can take shortcuts so that's really nice I'll let this car pass be careful because uh, yeah if you go off the edge there's a 15 20 foot drop uh, it's not straight down but it's pretty steep so I'll stop here a minute and let you look at this bridge here that's pretty neat and there's a another little one back over there man walking his dog I'll zoom in here there's a man walking his dog if you look way up there there's another little bridge there's one of the paved uh, trails. That man in the orange with his car is walking his dog on. So it's like a bike trail. There's a literal uh, three to five mile bike trail would be a guesstimate out and back. It's probably a mile and a half out and a mile and a half back. So there's this paved trail that goes around the throughout the park. It's mainly on the left side as you get at the end of the road uh, way down here uh, so 
Yeah, you're maybe a mile and a half down the park. Sorry for my big foot there. We'll get back to something else. Just playing with all this new technology. So that's that. So yeah, just uh, I try to do things like this uh, one to two or three days a week whenever I'm off work and. The weather's nice. Uh, I go to different places. Been down up to Bell Fountain last week, and sometimes I ride down to Kentucky, Cincinnati, uh, Chillicothe is another good one. Almost all my rides are 100 to 150 miles long. So, just a beautiful day. About 80. Five degrees is supposed to be the high later today, so it's like I said about one o'clock, so we're probably pushing up our 70s or low 80s. Now this is kind of the end, far point you can go to go down the hill and, uh, as far as car traffic, so there's a little park uh, off to the right where you can park. There's a little hiking trail off the end of the road. People shoot up. So, just, just beautiful. And just let, let the uh, let the scenery uh, speak for itself. I'm sure, like everything, all the time that the uh, video and. Justice. So there's a get the shade here a minute. There's like the bike trail going up in the woods. You can ride that on your bike. It's all paved and goes up the hill. It's fairly steep there and winds back there maybe a half a mile through the woods, then comes out to the creek down there by where that uh, little red. Uh, truck where my shoes point let me rotate my shoe around is uh the creek there off just beyond the truck it runs down the edge of the uh, um property somebody behind me i'm waving them through sorry hey out enjoying the day got his got his dog there hanging out the window so but uh then down this little lane here is a covered bridge uh, i'm not sure i think it's about halfway back i'd like to show you but i think i'm gonna run out of time because uh if i go much over 15 20 minutes or so they uh i can't post the video because it's too long so well, I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, this is uh, the park up here in Sydney off River Road, and uh, just beautiful. I highly recommend if you're up in Sydney to visit the uh, historic uh, co concrete uh, br uh, bridge that the train goes over, and to visit uh, Cardi's uh, bike shop. It's 76 years old. And his son, uh, dad, started it and, uh, back in 1946. And now his son, which he was three in the day, runs it and then also visits this park. I'm sure there's uh, many other interesting things, but this is what I found up here. And this is, uh, just wanted to share my day. with you and there comes another car so I'm kind of sitting out in the road a little bit but there's a playground for the kids shelters uh, very nice there's another shelter as we speak like I said there's at least 12 sh uh, shelters in the area and there's a covered bridge it uh, goes down to another part of the park uh, across the creek here so very nice. Hope you've enjoyed. And thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe and share. Uh, 
of videos. I'm trying to build up my channel and get better as we go along and uh, be a lot of various content, uh, landscaping and bike rides and whatever's happening in the life. Uh, so thanks for watching. Have a great afternoon.